You can see right now this young girl is not at ease with herself as the Spirit of God is beginning to address her case in Jesus' mighty name. Who are you? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Fire of the Holy Ghost. What have you done in her life? Answer right now. What have you done in her life? She's mine. She's yours. What's your purpose in her body? Destroying us. To destroy. How do you destroy? Embarrassment. Embarrassment. How else? Who are you? What is your name? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm a demon. You're a demon. What's your name? Lucifer. You're Lucifer. How many of you there? 25. 25. What else have you done in her life? Stubbornness. Stubbornness. You call stubbornness. What else? Not listening. Not listening. Not listening to her to her parents? Yes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. Who who is this person standing next to you? I don't know. Look at her. Who is this person standing next to you? Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer. Who is this person next to you? Is that you? Yeah. I don't know. Who is she? Who is she to you? Who is this person next to you? I don't know. You don't know. Ma'am, who's who's this child? She's, she's my daughter. She's your daughter. Yeah. But she's saying she doesn't know you. Shani. Call her. Shani. Shani. How's her behavior been in the house? She's she's very stubborn. She's she's mean. It's like she doesn't. She's, okay. okay. Keep, keep going. Uh huh. She's, she's stubborn. Very, she's, she's mean. She's mean. She doesn't listen. It's like you can't even correct her. She she has issues with school. Mm -hmm. What kind of issues with school? Um, in school, she is like they said. She's like she's very mean. She's very mean. she won't listen to the teacher. They will try to I mean put her away so that probably maybe. But she still, is like we have we're having constant problem with her. Yeah. How old is she? She's ten. She's ten. And how long has been happening to her? Um, she, when she was since she was little, she was a little bit like um. Not, not like stubborn, but she, she was like, she was, I can't, you know, but it's not that she, I've been praying about it, she's so stubborn, she, she won't listen to you. Mm -hmm. If you tell her to do something, she's not going to do it. She mm -hmm. will tell you, I'm going to do it, but next minute you turn your back, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So just to let you know that, that what was causing that was the spirit inside of her, mm -hmm. and she will be free and delivered in Jesus' name, and you'll Amen. have your child back. Amen. Amen. You demon, fire the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you, leave her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single one of you, every single one of you, out of her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you, all 25 of you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you, out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost all over her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire the Holy Ghost all over her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you out of her body right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave this child in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost all over her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her body. Out of every part of her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave her be right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single one of you. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Get up. She's crying. As you church, as you can see that the evil spirit that's been in her has been expelled. 
So let's put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for those deliverance. Everybody, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we talk to you for a second? Can, who is this? First of all, what's, what is your name? Johnny. Johnny. So who is this standing right next to you? Who is, who is she? She's your mom. What about, what about this lady? Your sister. Okay, this is to show us that the evil spirit that was inside of her has been expelled in Jesus' name. And now you, she can live for the glory of God. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome all of you here today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Shawnee and I'm from California. Can you tell us who are the people standing next to you here today? My mom, my dad, and my sister. And can you tell us what is the reason that you came here to receive prayer with the anointing water? Um, because I was acting stubborn and I had problems in school. Do you remember anything that happened to you today as you were receiving prayer with the anointing water? No, not really. Um, I saw myself on the floor, that was all I remembered. Can you tell us some of the challenges and problems that you were having from before that actually brought you here? Um, that I was like bad in school, I didn't listen to my mom, I didn't listen to my dad. I had problems with fighting and had problems with my my family. Can you tell us anything that you've been experiencing in your dreams? Like I've been bedwetting like at this age and I would have dreams of me like sleeping and then like I would have dreams that I'm like in the bathroom and then I'll just bedwet everywhere. But I wouldn't know until I wake up. So how old are you? Ten. And for how long have, were you experienced this problem of bedwetting? Ever since I came from my mother's house, my stepmother's house. Do you believe that you have been delivered and set free today after receiving that prayer with the anointing water? Yes. Amen. Now we'd like to speak with some of the people that are standing next to you here today. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Olua Toyana from California. And who are these people standing next to you? My family. That's my husband and those are my two daughters. And can you tell us a little about uh, your daughter who received prayer today? Can you explain some of the challenges that you're having with her before? Before she she was very stubborn. It's like you can't tell her anything and she will listen to you. You might tell her something and then before you turn your back she's not doing or doing something else. And then also we have the issue of um, her bed wetting and then I have problem in school that teacher is like she, I'm always calling being called back to school for one thing or the other and that's that was it and can you describe for us what happened today in the prayer line as you watched your daughter being prayed for I thank God for today because this has been my prayer that God will um, deliver and set her free and when she was being prayed today for today with the anointing water she the holy spirit was able to catch it and she um the spirit was sent out of her in the name of jesus so when today as your daughter was receiving prayer with the anointing water when the evangelist asked her who was the people standing next to her what did she reply she said i don't know and um it wasn't surprising to me because of my experience with watching Emmanuel TV and I knew it wasn't her, it was a demon that was inside that was saying that um, he, the demon, he or she, whatever, does not know us. So after that prayer, how is your daughter react to you towards a mother now, as her mother? When she got up from the floor, she was crying and I held her and then the evangelist asked her, who is this? Then she said, my mom and then who is that? She said, my mom, my dad, and my sister. So I thank God that she's delivered and set free. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we'd like to speak with the Father now. Can you tell us your name? My name is Henry Mesa. And who are these people standing next to you? Tony Lord, Tony, my wife. 
Shawnee, Eliana, and Mesa. And can you tell us uh, what happened today as your daughter was receiving prayer with the anointing water and what was your reaction? I was really shocked. I was amazed. I, I just, I watch it all the time. I, I was amazed. I was shocked. Was it her that was speaking out? Uh, I don't believe that was her. I don't believe it. Especially when she said she don't know her mom. No. That's evil spirit that was doing all that. That's not her. There's no way. And now, uh, how is she after the prayer? What is your experience with her now? Oh, she's so calm. Just after the prayer, she said, oh, she started crying. That is my mom. That shows that wasn't her that no, no, was doing that. Do you believe today that she was delivered uh, from this evil spirit and that the whole family has been delivered in Jesus' name? Amen. In the name of Jesus, the whole family has been delivered. All our problems have been solved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we believe that Jesus Christ has truly set your family free from this evil spirit that was bringing torment and stubbornness into your family. And we want to encourage you now that as you have received this divine healing and deliverance, that you will make God's word the standard for your life so this healing, deliverance, and salvation will remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank Amen. You, Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you.